guys, welcome back to the channel. We are currently doing a mini series on the Turkey Day Feast. And this week we are doing the turkey and the gravy. So the first thing you want to do with that turkey is to brine it. You can do a dry brine or you can do a wet brine. If you are doing a dry brine, it's pretty simple. You need to make a rub with mostly salt, sugar and some herb and you need to rub the bird with that. Then you let it rest in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours before cooking it. If you are doing the wet brine, you need to submerge the bird with water with two cups of salt and the rest is pretty much optional because the salt is the key here to get that bird very moist. Next, we need to make a compound butter. So take four stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, then add a five to six clove of garlic. Put one tablespoon of olive oil and for the herbs I like to use sage, rosemary and thyme and of course fresh herbs please. Put those herbs in the butter seasoned with salt and pepper and if your butter was not at room temperature like mine you may have a hard time mixing this. It's very important to use soft butter. So at the end you should have a texture like this and if you don't use everything you can keep this in the fridge for a couple of weeks. For most people who are lactose intolerant, they can use G butter or clarified butter. This butter tends to be more liquid at room temperature, so you might have to refrigerate it a bit before. And same as the previous one, the fresh herbs, rosemary, sage and thyme, salt and pepper, the garlic and I forget about the nutmeg in the previous one, so let's do it in both of them. It's beautiful. Now let's prepare the roasting pan for our turkey. You will need 4 carrots cut in half, 4 celery branches cut equally, 4 onion cut in half, 2 lemon, 1 cut in slice and 1 cut in quarter, 2 oranges, same 1 cut in slice and 1 cut in quarter. Now put all the ingredients in the pan except for the quarter of lemon and orange and 2 onions half. And by the way, no turkey have been harmed during the shooting of this episode. And don't forget to season the interior of that bird with salt and pepper. Now it's time to lose the skin of that turkey. This is not very elegant, but in some ways it's fun to do. When you're done losing the skin, it's time to put the compound butter inside that bird. So the fact that we don't just put it outside, but inside will increase the flavor. The moisture is gonna be delicious. It's gonna be beautiful. And while you're at it, uh, make a nice massage to that turkey. I think she deserves it after all she's been through. Now stuff the turkey with the onion, the lemon, the orange, but don't put too much. We still need to have air to flow inside the turkey. Put the turkey on his bed and fold the wings beside the turkey so it doesn't burn and dry out. Take the boat legs and stick them together. You can use butcher twine. And don't forget to put the aromatic kid of fresh rosemary, thyme and sage inside the bird. Put the chicken stock in the roasting pan. This will serve to baste the turkey while roasting. Put the turkey in the oven at 450 for 10 to 15 minutes until it get golden brown. Then remove the turkey, baste the turkey with the chicken stock and then add a layer of bacon all around it to protect the skin. Mmm, bacon. Baste the turkey again, put this in the oven at 350. It will take 30 minutes per kilo. This is a 6 kilo turkey, so it will take 3 hours to cook. While it's cooking, try to baste it every 15 minutes. And like any meat you cook, it will need to rest as long as it's cooked after, so cover it for 3 hours. So while the turkey is resting, we have plenty of time to make a nice gravy. Take all of the dripping from that pan and pass it into a strainer. 
with unsalted butter or clarified butter and flour make a roux. Then add your dripping a little bit at a time and whisk vigorously. With all of the bacon that render into the dripping, it might go a little bit salty. If it's the case, just add more chicken stock to it. Season with pepper and then taste to see if you did a good job. All right, guys, so this is it. We did an amazing turkey with an awesome gravy so if you enjoy this episode please leave a like it make a big difference for the channel and see you in the next episode